Here we go. <clears throat> Indeed, in thinking of uh, strategies for promoting your ranch book, or at least um, somehow supporting or promoting, propagating the idea of God, of the monotheistic concept of God, the universal father of love, um, in this day and age of modern miracles in science, I mean, it's a, it's a tough call. I mean, I hang out, you know, the people I hang out with are internet savvy people on the communities and whatnot, and there's no doubt in my mind that, you know, this, this science thing has is, is really become <laughs> something. I mean, science has become a god now. And it's like, you get a lot of points if you stand up and go, oh, you know, go look up Spaghetti Monster and you get what I'm, you'll get what I'm talking about. I mean, it's the idea that where materialistic, what, what do we call it? I mean, your ranch book says they're uh, mechanistic. It's not mechanistic. It's, um, well, anyhow, material scientists. Um, material scientists, you know, laugh at the old religions. I mean, you know, they, what they do, I mean, I understand the dynamics of the situation. The dynamics of, I think I'm going to report this on the Zoom because this is a pretty good rap. Is it? Nah, just continue. So, <clears throat> yeah. Um, in this day and age, in this modern times, I mean, what, what's happening now, you know, with the internet, blah, 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 is, um, you know, we're, you know, there's a lot of this coming out of the states, and in the states you have huge, you know, born-again Christians, you have mega-churches, you have televangelists and all of this, and, you know, people get sick of it, you know, because there's a lot of pushiness, and, um, you know, knocking on your door and and then there's all the scandals you know scandals among the mega churches televangelists and the catholic priesthood i mean my god everybody knows all about that and so this is you know all these things add up to something that's an environment of, of where it's easy to dismiss and repudiate and ridicule a religion and religious beliefs, especially when the, you know, the main document is the Bible, the Old and the New Testament. The Old Testament, I think, you know, not too many, I mean, the main thing is the New Testament, but then it's, the idea is that if you believe that, I mean, the Bible is the Bible with the Old and New Testament, so it's kind of like, well, if you, you have to take the Old if you're going to accept the New, I mean, you have to buy into it some degree and that's a stumbling block you know and almost every debate I've ever seen done with with uh, the great what they call the four horsemen of atheism these days who I couldn't name for you right off my head Sam is one of them and oh my god I don't know if Dawkins is in there but anyway, there's four guys now that are extremely popular and they're all part of this thing you know I mean what's this guy Neil Grayson or something and there's Carl Sagan which you know, I always adored him. But this whole thing, you know, this uh, this atheism, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, I'm constantly thinking what, you know, how to inject into these conversations something that could even make any kind of ripple on the water of, of all of this. And I was just thinking tonight, it's simple, man. It's like, just say it. Just say it like the Ranch Book says it. They don't fuck around, excuse me. They don't mess around. Um, it's basically, you know, the, the, the ranch book is a spiritual revelation which unifies all the findings of science and the continuing findings of science with, you know, the ancient uh, philosophy of religion and the new philosophy of religion. Um, and so that's all you got to say. I mean, people want to make this thing a divisional 
uh, situation, but it's not. You know, the division happens because because of lack of 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 revelation. But we, you have to have revelation to make that that uh, that jump. You know, how, how you know how can God and evolution exist? How does that work? Well, then we learn about the life carriers and that whole plan. You know, that's revelation. That idea, just that idea right there, life carriers. That's the bridge between evolution and God the Father. And of course, that opens up the book to, you know, even much, much greater ideas, which is, you know, the ultimate plan of stuff. But I don't know, there was a lot of hoopla today about this, uh, you know, oh, well, we've really found something great, you know, it confirms, or it's further confirmation of Einstein's theory of relativity, and or grand theory of relativity, and uh, but it is nowhere near nowhere near uh, being able to uh, answer a question like what came before the Big Bang, because it's just it's so far beyond science as a matter of fact, what they discovered whatever, this the, or I mean, I think they discovered some time ago, but the publication of this discovery um, of the uh, Big Bang Theory and blah, 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 is just, it's buzz. Because in the end, they don't really know. They weren't there to observe it. What they're observing are the, uh, you know, the after effects. And let's be real here, man. I mean, science is great, but shit, we can't even find a, a, you know, a... (laughs) whatever, 200-something ton plane with all the vast military radar systems and satellite systems on the whole planet, and they can't even find that, okay? And let's say, what else doesn't science know? It doesn't know, really. I mean, it does not know uh, exactly how memory works. They don't know how thought works. They don't know how a smell can, can trigger a particular memory. They don't know where that is or how that is. They don't know... Uh, for certain uh, what the composition of the core of the moon is or even the earth for that matter and for even the planets most of the planets in our solar system they know very very little they know well let's be fair to the scientists they know more than I mean my god what what monkey man has learned (laughs) in the last hundred years about the planets and you know I mean the, the science involved in landing a man on the moon and all of that uh, the spacecraft involved. I mean, my God, man is really coming along with the science. But the science is based on on uh, on laws, you know, uh, material laws, and uh, you know, it, it's only natural that man will continue to discover those laws and be able to use them to his uh, advantage and to his uh, you know, joy and uh, education. But. You know, to make science a god does not satisfy man's hunger for truth. I mean, re- spiritual truth, the, the truth of joy. I mean, you don't get joy. I mean, well, you do get joy somewhat from, like, you know, the discovery of E equals MC squared. I mean, that's a joyful thing, but it's not soul-satisfying joy uh, with regard to things like death. I mean, I know for a fact, you know, those pure (laughs) materialists, oh, that's what it is, secular materialists, that, uh, you know, it's somewhere they just can't go. They can't deal with death. But for a religionist like myself, a spiritual self, I mean, death is, it's, 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 it's exactly beautiful. It's, 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 can I talk? It's as exactly beautiful as his birth. It is exactly part of, of, of life, you know, and there's nothing, there's nothing more great about it than there is about birth. I mean, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a flat line of, of, of just is, 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 is. Damn, I think I've seen like three 612s go by. Yeah, that's it for this one. I wonder what that's like.